This might be the hardest question, but it's only going to be for one reason. And that reason is, everybody, what's that F word that we've been talking about in class today that everyone seems to forget about when it comes to the ASVAB? Formulas, exactly. People tend to forget about the formulas when it comes to the ASVAB, and this problem is no different. Who here freaked out and said, man, coach, I saw that we got a rectangular prism, a 3D object. I got a 25, a 15, and a 50. I'm gonna multiply all those numbers together and hope for the best. Who did that? 25 times 15 times 50, you ended up getting something like 18,750. Who, who was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Nobody else? <laughs> yeah, of course I'm calling you out because I've been there before, guys. I've been there before. I'm not going to you know, sit here and pretend that I'm perfect. I'm not. I've made so many mistakes when it comes to learning math that it's helped me teach the way that I do. I understand the common mistakes that you're going to make. And so let's understand why that's the case. So for those of you that multiply the 25, 15, and 50 here, you probably thought that this question was a volume problem, but it was not. Was not. Does pure math frustrate you to no end? Well, don't worry. Aside from making dreams come true, I'm here to help take you out of the nightmare that is not being confident with math. Our math knowledge dashboard that you're gonna receive in our program gives you everything you need to track your progress from start to finish, including having worksheets, guided practice, being able to track when you are ready for that topic with a checkpoint, which is a practice test that's timed with solutions at the end. So my party people, you don't have to be in the position you're in. There's always something better and it's affordable. Check out the program and you got it. Everybody, what are they asking for here? How many square centimeters? How many square centimeters? Are they asking you for volume there? Are they asking you for volume there? No. If you were looking for volume, they would have said, how many cubic centimeters? That would have been a giveaway that you're dealing with volume. That would have been it. But no, they said square centimeters. And so everybody, when we say square, we know that we're talking about what idea? Square centimeters talks about area. Exactly. And so now that we know that we're dealing with area, well, let's put in that work. Because we're dealing with not a two-dimensional object, we're dealing with a three-dimensional object, they say right over here, again, how many square centimeters of wrapping paper? We're dealing with a rectangular prism. We're dealing with a 3D object. Whenever you're trying to find area of a 3D object, that's called surface area. That's called surface area. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Kind of, yeah, okay, cool. So what we need to know is the surface area of a rectangular prism. This is what we are being tested on in this question. A very, very, very niche topic, but nonetheless, if you know the formula for it, this is easy points. If you don't know the formula for it, well, you're not in the position to succeed. So let me just go ahead and give you the formula. Here it is. The surface area of a rectangular prism is going to be two multiplied by the length times width plus two times the width times height plus two times the length times the height. That seems like a bunch of jargon, right? It seems like a bunch of babbling, but there's actually some rhyme or reason to this formula. There is. Here's how this formula works. Let me go ahead and show you what a rectangular prism looks like. Again, I'm the number one, uh, you know, math geometry drawer in the world. So here we have a rectangle. And then over here, 
let's go ahead and just duplicate that. Duplicate that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there we go. So everybody, that's a rectangular prism, yes or no? Yeah, surface area does mean 3D object. Yep, 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 yep. So cool, that's a rectangular prism or a box. And here's what you're looking at, everybody. Let's go ahead and say that, uh, let me just go ahead and draw these dots. Cool, so just to show you what surface area really is, let me go ahead and just draw each of those measurements. So let's say that this is my length, this is my width, and this is my height. Everyone, just take a look. If I just want to find the area of just this side right here, this right side of the rectangle, uh, the rectangular prism, that's going to be my width times my height. That's all this is. Now, when you ask me, well, why is there a two in front of the width times the height? Well, because there's two sides that have the width and the height. One right here and the other one right here. You can't really see it, but it's on the other side. Same thing right here at the bottom. Length times width to get that bottom piece. Also going to have length times width up here. You have two of those to account for. Because remember, when we're trying to find surface area, we want the area of the right side, the left side, the top, the bottom, the front, and the back. So because the sides are copied front and back, top and bottom, side to side, you see that we're going to have two of each. Length times width, and we have two of those sides. Width times height, we got two of those sides too. And then we have length times height, and we have two of those. Yes or no, everybody, does that make any sort of sense in terms of where that formula comes from? Again, because if you understand where these formulas come from, it becomes that much easier to actually memorize them and know how to use them. But that's where that comes from. It's actually a very easy formula if you just practice with it a little bit. So now that we have this, just plug and chug. Just plug and chug. That's all we have to do and we're good. So we have the 25 meters long, that's the length. 15 centimeters wide. And then we have the 50 centimeters tall. You have that, you plug it in and you're good. So the surface area equals two times the 25 times the 15 plus two times the 15 times the 50 plus two times the length, which is 25 times the height, which is 50. Get through this and you are good. And that's it. Is it a lot of calculation? Sure. But once you know what the formula is, that's it. Just get to work. And look, I know how awesome it is to watch these videos, but how much better would it be to actually sit in a live Zoom class with me, being able to answer your questions and show you how to get things done back to back to back? I got your back. Go ahead and join our program trial. It's free for a full week. I am so confident that it'll help you raise your score that I'm not even requiring a credit card for you to sign up. All you have to do is confirm your email and phone number and you're good to go. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, click the link in the description or text trial to 833-321-0182. And I'll see you there, my ASVAB party people. Let's raise that score. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and have two times 25. So that'll be 50 still times 15. Over here, we'll have two times 15, which is 30 times 50. Then we have two times 25. So that'll be 50 times 50. Look at how much easier this is now, now that I chose to multiply by two first, instead of doing the 25 times 15. Just think about how the numbers might work out better for you. Because 50 times 15, that's gonna end up being 750. Again, you need to know your mental math here. Five times 15 is 75. So 50 times 15, 750. You have that done there. 30 times 50, three times five, 15. Add the extra zeros. 1500. Next, 50 times 50, 5 times 5 is 25. Tack on those extra zeros, 2500. Add it all up. We have 1500 plus 2500, that's 4000. 750 plus 4000 is 4750. And you're done. 
that's 4,750 square centimeters and you are good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you get a screenshot in there, but I wanted to show you how it's really not that intimidating if you practice your mental math. That's why the math basics for the what? 48th time in today's class that I mentioned it, that's why it's so important because when you get to moments like these, you can stay calm, cool, and collected and get it done. Don't forget, we have a free class once a week, typically on Mondays, 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you'd like to join, go ahead, go to that link over there or text free class to 833-321-0182. Hey, Steve, yes, man.